It is so wonderful to be back in this glorious house. Today, Friday the 13th, nice Templars, 13 to 15,000 were rounded up and primarily executed. Burnt. Well, that's primarily executed uh, and had their assets. I'll have to bring Julia Child back just to be very specific if that's the word of um, So, politics has been afoot for a long time. Uh, please turn off all your cell phones or at least the, the noise of them. You don't have, have to turn them off, just turn off the sound. Uh, first, I want to personally thank Florence Northcutt and Thomas the VA and Raphael and the board of Holland for the most gracious soft hands allowing me to present a hypothesis of continuum in this magic house that unequivocally we all love with all our hearts. Um, I'm very proud to have Tony Payne as our feature tonight. He is truly the beat incarnate and uh, a wily wascal of extraordinary gifts. And we have four sub features I will surprise you throughout the evening. Um, it's an interesting shuffle that I'm going to do tonight. I talked to Robert Math about this. The normal two poem, five minutes, for your open mic. And we will have 10 minutes sub features, and we will have a feature. So, so two features will have that. So this allows the evolutionary process of everyone here to find themselves ultimately in a bigger slot, to get their hips and really rooted into the foundation. Because as a composer of the when I'm giving symphonically, yeah, you can really do a hell of a lot in five minutes, but 10 is extraordinary if you really want to shape a phrase. So that's magical. And of course, if you do 30, that, that's a major demonstration of either an entire work or a series of movements. Um, before, <coughs> excuse me, before we begin, these are extraordinary times. <laughs> this is the Weimar Republic, 1931-32. The Reichstag is about to be burned down. The hinterland has spoken. The cognoscenti of the cities are still laughing it off, and they're about to be overrun. So, with that in mind, I want you to embrace all yourselves and pride yourselves in recognizing how gifted and human you all are through the power of the word your selflessness to stand in front of us, the inevitable gift that you will be returned a better craftsman because of the proximity of each of us with each of us. Every one of us who now know us for how many years will absolutely unequivocally attest we've all gotten better. It is a remarkable synergy. And if we can do this and demonstrate this within the community and it becomes the district and metaphorically and literally subsequently the state, and then ultimately the region, and finally the union, I do believe we will take it back. And I wrote this as a statement, and this is what we believe, I firmly believe. Recognizing the power of the word as an instrument to promote and protect democracy as well as our moral responsibility to promote and protect literacy and moral rectitude in accordance and support of our most precious constitution. We pledge that we, as citizens of these United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, 
swear to promote and protect what has been ordained and established as our Constitution of these United States of America, and as such, offer proof of our witness to the power of the word through our offerings of our work in order to not only document for all conscious souls who experience, but leave an ongoing legacy for our actions are the actions of the future. And as such, recognize this moment as sacred for the next seven generations. Our first, no, 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 if anything touch your heart, it's ours. It's ours. <laughs>